On an earlier program, we brought you a story about the work carried out by Alberta's Fish and Wildlife Officers. Well, we continue with that journey today. This time, we take to patrolling the North Saskatchewan River. The North Saskatchewan River can be a very busy place on a sunny afternoon in the summertime, and it's great to see folks out enjoying what the river can offer. For some, it's an opportunity to cast a line and enjoy a day of fishing, like this newcomer to our city. It's easy to get to. I can bike down here, I can drive down here. I can come down for a couple hours or a whole day. I don't have to pack up a whole gear and head out to the lake to get there, and it's easy. With so much activity on the river, it makes for a perfect day for Fish and Wildlife Officer Adrian Marr to launch the boat and set off on a patrol. It wasn't long before he saw something that looked out of place. Three fishing lines were in the water, but there were only two anglers. So who owns all the fishing rods? One of the anglers claimed the extra rod belonged to his daughter, but that story didn't quite check out after Officer Mars' partner found the daughter with her mom. Your daughter is with your wife and they have been biking for an hour. That's what she told me. One of the options available to Officer Mar is to seize all the rods and tackle but he decides to take another approach. And you know, the only reason why I'm gonna tell you, because you've got a five-year-old here, right? And I want this to be not a bad experience for her. She needs to be able to trust law enforcement, <laughs> yeah. you know, and know that, you know, we have to do our job, that someone made a mistake here, but our job is to make My sure, fault. right? Fault, yeah. To make, hold people accountable. Yeah. But then ultimately, you can, you can say, but you know what, we could have taken the fishing rods, which I look, they look pretty expensive, right? but we're not going to. But we're gonna give a couple of tickets, give a warning, that's it. Like, we're out here for a reason, because there's a lot of illegal fishing going on, and I'm gonna be honest, yeah. we hear a lot about the Asians, and I'm Asian, so I can say that, so I'm not being biased, racist, or anything, but we hear a lot. Yeah. And ultimately, when we come down the shore and we catch Asians doing something. Well, then everything that people say is true then, right? And then it's all of a sudden, it's like, yeah. So you need to educate your friends, who I assume many of are Asian, and I'm doing the same thing, right? Well, it's back on the river and just a short hop upstream produced yet another encounter with a couple of anglers. Hey guys. Alberta Fish and Wildlife. As Officer Mars' investigation continued, it turned up another surprise. Whoa! Okay, whose is this? Okay, uh, I'm just going to ask you straight out. Any drugs right now? No, it doesn't have anything in it either. Okay, no, but around now, because I'm going to search. No, I just took it out just to air it out because yeah. my girlfriend don't like that. So. Okay. And I actually totally didn't even know I had it. It's my sister's from last time. But. Is that right? So it's not really yours? Well, it's your sister's? It's mine now. It's yours now? Yeah. Okay, because of the remnants? What are we going to... Okay, what are we going to do with it because of the remnants? There's no remnants. I, I consider that remnants, right? Even the ashes, right? Well, that's not remnants. That's just like... Yeah. Okay, that so... That was in there. Yeah, so what are you going to do with it now that I'm here? Uh, you can throw it away, break it. Whatever. Okay, you're it's not, not mine, so yeah. So I'm that's really a, so I'm going to seize it, yeah. right? And uh, and I'll give you a little receipt, and then we're going to destroy it yeah. because to me that's residue, yeah, sure. right? That's and no that's you can't have that. So it's more paperwork and another ticket. And while he does get a little frustrated with the lack of compliance from some folks, Officer Marr holds out hope for the future. It's like having a driver's license. If you're going to be given this privilege of driving or fishing or hunting then truly it's a privilege and it's really up to you to make sure that you follow the laws. Ignorance of the laws I don't accept. For the most part in Edmonton District, you know, we have seen really, really good compliance and we credit that to the individuals that maybe have taken the right courses, you know, and just know the laws and maybe a bit to enforcement. We're out here all the time, uh, myself and fellow officers, and hopefully our presence and our consultation helps them make sure they follow the laws. But I'll tell you, today is a day that almost everybody, we we're writing tickets and we we're giving warnings. So I'm disappointed in today, but again, hopefully with those positive contacts, they're going to learn from 
from it and they're going to spread the word and make sure they educate you know their friends and their family and so on until that day comes fish and wildlife officers will be out across the province doing their part to ensure our natural treasures are protected <laughs>